Hi and welcome to Fix Until Broken. Today we're going to be looking at a BTRFS file system for Linux. Uh, in a previous video I added a drive to a RAID 1 to make it a 3 disk RAID 1. In this video we'll be making a 2 disk RAID 1 from 3 disk RAID 1. So If you're not used to Linux or file systems, this will be brand new to you. You may not want to even watch, but uh, if you do know Linux, BTRFS is a good file system. It's a default for, I think, SUSE operating system at this point. Uh, several others are looking at it, but they've had some uh, performance and some catastrophic failures on the file system itself, especially with uh, RAID 5 and RAID 6. I believe there is a fix for that now, but I'm not using RAID 5 or RAID 6. So um, in this video, I'll be taking this uh, three disk RAID 1 uh, and removing SDA. Um, and this uh, is, is called uh, big data because it is uh, a big chunk of data. Uh, anyway, so here's what the file system looks like. Uh, you can see it is a RAID 1 on the data. Uh, metadata is also RAID 1 and systems RAID 1. Everything's RAID 1. So these are three terabyte drives. Uh, a little bit less on the actual size. That's just what they do with storage. Uh, anyways, there's about... Uh, let's look here. About 1.6 terabytes used. Uh, a little bit less than, a little bit more than half available. So, 46% usage. Uh, this is just mixed data, uh, mostly um, pictures and videos. Like this video here will end up on this drive at some point. Um, anyways, I'm going to pull this drive out. Um, SDA. And just leave it with a two disk mirror. I have another purpose for this disk and I don't want to buy another one. So. That's what we'll be doing today. Um, anyways, the command to remove the disk is not that one. Device remove. There we go. And basically, it's just this one command. So I'll run this command. Uh, it'll take quite a while to copy the data off. Uh, being a RAID 1, it may be fairly quick because it already has duplicate blocks, but there will be some processing time um, and other things like that. Uh, this drive is, um, or this uh, BTRFS volume is showing some errors. Uh, and it is with this device. Um, I've had some power issues, uh, and one power issue in particular caused this error to start showing up. And it shows up a lot, so I'm going to just uh, remove this device anyways. I have another purpose for it. Uh, it'll be added to a larger uh, global distributed file system. I'll make a video about that in a couple days or weeks. Um, anyway, so fairly simple command. And hopefully it just uh, works just like that. And that probably doing something. I uh, should have run that in the background. Let's uh, switch over and log in again. And SDA is the device we're going to be moving from. So it's getting utilization right now, which is good. Uh, and again, this could take a while. Let's see, yeah, it's going to do a balance. It's basically the command it's doing. Uh, BTRFS allows you to uh, pool drives together. So in this instance, I have three drives uh, in a RAID 1. So about half the space is visible. Uh, the other half is used for redundancy. So each block that you write or each file, uh, it is duplicated, uh, basically chunked up into different smaller chunks and then split up across all the drives. So if you lose a drive, you don't lose your data. 
Now it's similar to RAID 5, uh, except with BTRFS, you want to uh, avoid RAID 5, uh, at least in it's 2017 right now. Uh, in the future, they may fix that, but RAID 5 right now is not considered stable. So RAID 1 is considered stable, um, but uh, I'm still going to use RAID 1. I just don't want to have the third disk in there. Um, that third disk will end up uh, I'm using a lizard FS right now, which is distributed across three different systems. So I'll be adding some more space to it. Uh, but this volume right now uh, is right here. And you can see it's about four and a half terabytes. Um, so that command, switch to some of these. Uh, of course, it's running in the foreground, which is inconvenient, but that's okay. And you can see it's just reallocating blocks. Uh, this is similar to a balance, if you do a balance uh, across your drives. And yeah, you can see it's already marked to zero. And uh, this terabyte uh, will probably be reallocated across these other drives over the next who knows how long. So let's see in here. Yeah, you can see it's getting a little smaller than the other two drives. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video. Uh, this is gonna run, I don't know, hours, potentially hours. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and watch it. Um, it is running in a screen on a different system, so when it finishes, it finishes, and uh, that drive will be reallocated uh, and added to the clustered file system. Uh, at some point, if the clustered file system works out, I'll probably um, move the other two drives over there as well uh, once the data migration is done. Uh, again, there's about one and a half terabytes of data on here. Uh, and it's pretty critical data. It, uh, it is backed up on Google and Amazon, so if uh, I lose that data, I'll have to download the data again. But it's a lot of data. I don't want to have to do that. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Uh, again, if you like this video, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, I also have a different BTRFS video of me adding that drive uh, to this RAID 1. So if you want to watch that, I'll put a card uh, if not, then watch some other videos. Thanks for watching.